All right guys, today we're gonna to show you how to do a fuel system cleaning on your vehicle. Now what we have here is a Ford truck, uh, early 2000s, and it's never had a fuel system cleaning done. And what this does is it cleans out all the carbon buildup from inside your intake, your O2 sensors, things like that. It's not only going to give you better uh, fuel economy, but you know it's going to increase the horsepower again back to close to what it was. But you know, of course, 200,000 miles, you're not going to have that. But let's get started on this video and show you an easy, simple way to increase the horsepower in your vehicle and give you better fuel efficiency if you've never done one of these. I use sea foam. I put some sea foam in this bottle that I have. Now, of course, you can do this a couple different ways. Uh, but you unhook, I unhook the brake line, or not the brake line, but the brake booster. booster air hose right here from this. And uh, I plug my little thing in there. Now, you could put a funnel in there if you wanted to and barely drip this in. But uh, what you're going to do is you're going to hook this up. You're going to start the vehicle. Put your cleaner in here, which once again, I use seafoam. And then this is just better for me because I can set it to a drip or whatever I want to set it to after the vehicle started. So uh, we're going to start the vehicle. We're going to start the drip and we're going to show you what happens if you've never done this to your gas engine. Now we've already unhooked the bottle here. So we're going to start this up. We're going to let it idle for a second and then we're going to give it some gas and see if any smoky comes out of this because he cut it so uh he cut it up here somewhere but we'll know if it's going to work or not go ahead jared yeah go ahead Keep going. There it goes. Rev it up some. And this is what it does right here, boys. Look at all that. Oh my God. Let me stand up. Uh, keep going. Blow all that out. So this cleans all the carbon. Woo! This cleans all the carbon out of your vehicle. Get out of the way, my God. And uh, makes it run better. So you'll definitely notice a horsepower difference. I guarantee it. And no, it will not mess up your vehicle. Uh, mechanic shops do this with the same equipment that I just used and uh, it's just cheaper to do it yourself. So I figured I'd do it on a vehicle that's never had it done before. And here we are. And this will smoke for quite a few minutes, uh, probably five, five minutes or so before you start noticing it go away. Like you start noticing it now, you know, it's not as bad as it was, but He's a smoking. I mean, it's a Ford, but just joking, just joking. <clears throat> but yeah, it'll take a while for all that crap to get out of there. So we're gonna take her for a drive here and uh, knock some of this smoke out and we'll be back. All right, guys, so how you seen all of that smoke rolling out? Now what this does is how you want to do this is once you hook it up like we did and get it all in there, then you unhook everything, turn your vehicle off, let it sit for five to 15 minutes, somewhere around in there, let it eat up all that carbon. Now, once you, of course, always remember, hook the brake line booster, the air vacuum back in. You want brakes, trust me. Hook it back up after you, you shut the vehicle off. First thing you do, hook it back up. So you've got brakes. Let it set. Let it eat through that carbon. 
start your vehicle back up. Once you start your vehicle back up, that's when you're going to get all of that smoke that you've seen. Now, you're going to do that. You're going to be prepared because your engine may, may idle rough. It may want to die. Keep your foot on that gas. Keep it rolling. Um, you want that smoke to get out of there. So all it's doing is, remember, it's just cleaning all of that carbon buildup and stuff out of your intake system, out of your, you know, off your O2 sensors, things like that. Now, you may notice the check engine light. If you do, then, of course, just go get an OB2 reader, have it shut off. If you have an OB2 reader, shut it off yourself. So once you notice the smoke starting to get a little lighter, then take it down the road, go down the highway, give it some gas, blow that stuff out. After no more than 10 miles, you should have all of that blown out, your smoke should be gone, and you should know if you're gonna have a code pop up or not. If you don't have a code pop up, your smoke's gone, more than likely you probably ain't gonna have a code pop up. But this is a simple, easy technique, and I use seafoam, simple easy technique that you should be doing every i would say every other oil change at least but a lot of people never do it and uh, you know i don't ever do it on my vehicle i do it about every 50,000 miles but let me tell you this is a 215,000 mile truck that's never had it done and i just wanted to show you what was going to happen and how this actually worked and show you that it did work and it's not going to hurt anything and now his vehicle not only is going to get better fuel efficiency but it's going to run a lot smoother as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, comment down below. Hit that thumbs up button, and we'll see you in the next one.